Hello creatives, welcome to the daily pick a card and birthday reading for October 9th. If you were born today after sunrise, you are a king of clubs. If you were born before sunrise, you're actually yesterday's card, which was an ace of diamonds. Okay, so I read each card individually, then all together for the collective. We talk about the energy of today, what we might bump up into, and how we might navigate the card's messages. Then a special birthday message for you, King of Clubs. This is your solar year cards. They are here to help you help yourself in raising your vibration so that you can energize your manifesting abilities. Let's get started. Card number one. Oh, great. <laughs> King of Clubs. We just doubled down on the entire day. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, looks like we are talking about that energy right now because it just got real thick and in a really good way, I hope. This is in the upright position, so that's what we're going to talk about. One of the most lovely things about a king is the ability to do good in the world just by working on yourself. It is like a chain reaction. Every time that you can take some really stuck, limiting belief about yourself and move through it, it is like this chain reaction of brilliance that happens. And it improves the lives of everyone around you and beyond. It is something that the kings have that ability to do. It's the hardest thing to do, but you can do it because you got to let go of those ego, you know, blabbing that you're this, you're that, and to keep you and hold you where ego wants you to be, holding you back. So if you can, can, can really think about making changes, oh, probably just felt your back stiffen with that one, right? <laughs> Sorry, but you know, this is this is what's up for you today. It is some serious intellectual knowledge that you are going to be dipping into. It's an invitation to transform, to have this revelation about yourself, some limiting belief that needs to go. You got to destroy it. You've got to deconstruct it and destroy right? It is this encounter in the energy of today. One of the things in a spread about a king of clubs, it's influenced by the rest of the cards. It kind of uh, tells a little story about what you're going to do to really have that, that ultimate challenge of service to soul self and therefore society. How beautiful is that? It's really you rising to the to to a new level of a noble character. And you do that, that's the crazy part, through diversity. <laughs> Hardest thing in the world for a king of clubs. Thank God, your Libra, cardinal energy, perfect, air energy, the club suit, air in the cards of truth. So you've got what you need to do this today. Uh, there might be a little bit of crisis that comes with it. We are looking at the seven, eights, and nines tower moments. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but you've got the chariot behind you. That's the eights, the black eights. It's success in the 
waiting to happen. Once you take that first step, once you see it, you are golden because then you've got the information you need, the nines, that hermit energy, figuring it out, letting it go, being the truth finder, the free spirit that you are, because that is also your second deacon Libra. It is you just diving deep into that Uranus energy, that inventiveness, that creativity. It's you going beyond the five senses, right? You are an artist in every way. Beautiful energy here. So, okay, we'll get to what might be bumping up into and the chart here when we see what other two cards we've got because it does play a part in a spread, especially for a king. However, it also counterbalances the spread. So good, good energy. Card number two, we have the five of clubs. So this is you sprucing it up. Finding what that gem, <clears throat> excuse me, the gem that needs to be collected and polished. You're going to get it. It's not easy. It's, it's fast paced. It's change. It's a little bit of crisis in doing it. It's feeling kind of like uh, you got too many balls you're juggling and you can't drop any of them. It's that kind of thing. But it is also um, really rapid growth. Like when you, you have one of those aha moments, it can be a therapist. It can be like a, a therapy session. And you, you have that new revelation coming through for you. So it's a beautiful card to get here, and it's going to be softened even just a little bit with this king to whatever degree that your life path is taking you on. So it's good. It's also um, Jupiter, and which makes it a joyful you know, path to be led down and handheld and feeling good that you're on the right path. There's also this judgment um, in the major arcana. So it's figuring out what you need, when you need it, and really taking accountability for yourself as you do it. You're going to need that king nobility to do this. Card number three, you've got the ace of hearts. So this is really good energy too. The Ace of Hearts is all about having this new, peaceful change. It's an opportunity for your, your son, your son position. So you need to see what's in your son position. And we'll talk about that now that we've turned over the third card. We'll take a look at the chart of the day and whatever we might bump up into with a low vibe, high vibe, and how we might navigate through that because this is really a new understanding about yourself. Soft, loving, grounded, really understanding in a moment how to take care of yourself emotionally. <clears throat> Brilliant that it's here on a King of Clubs day. I love it. So happy to see it. <laughs> so do take a look at your sun position, what you have in your in your sun position, the chart of the day has the jack of diamonds. So there's a fast-paced finding value. It is the, the path that the king really, really needs to be on. And it is in you to, at some point in your life, off and on, it is your, your life path, your Oh, it's like the, the job that you are here to measure up to. So for you, being a king of clubs, it makes perfect sense that you are to 
let go of these limiting beliefs about yourself and grow by releasing, by understanding the jack of diamonds. You've got that seeing it coming into the opportunity for that new improved value of self and what you hold in value of people, places, and things, making that connection, taking advantage of that connection, doing something beautiful for yourself. As a king, you do that, you do it for everyone. It just reverberates that way. It's this vibration of every time that you can can manage some growth in that department of letting go to let something better in, you do that for the rest of the planet, the universe. It's beautiful, beautiful vibrational energy to do it. Okay. So yeah. And you do that and it's difficult. You do that through that Pluto position that you are. What is in your king position? the ace of clubs. So it's you really reinventing yourself every time that you can can fulfill that jack of diamonds and find something better to believe in about you, an upgrade, positive upgrade by letting, you know, just negativity and, you know, negative talk to yourself go. You do that upgrade, you have an epiphany of an original you. Mm, How beautiful is that? That's that ace of clubs. Aces go right back to your sun position. Jack of diamonds. It is this tug of war that you do. So if you can recognize what that tug of war is for you, mm, There you go. You are on your path of that eight of diamonds. So beautiful. Finding that validation of you within. Mm, Grounded value. Something super solid to just plant who you are in. Love it. Okay, so what is the downside of a king of clubs day? resistance. (laughs) Of course, (laughs) there's this uh, unwillingness and just being um, lack of a better word coming to me, this this ignorance of how to that, that you find yourself in as you justify staying stuck. (laughs) <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that is a bitter pill to swallow, but you have to know it. You have to hear it. You have to understand it, that you know, being this king of clubs and this energy of today, it is just a, a really uh, socially... A, what comes to mind is like being a social advisor for everyone. Every time you can tweak for the better, you send it out around the world and into the universe, making everything a better place. So no resisting. Right? <laughs> Find the inner peace that you are meant to be on and go with it. Because it is beautiful energy that you put out there when you can. When you can grasp that and hang on to it, get it done. Yay for all of us. All right, let's move on to the birthday. Seems how we've pretty much covered you today as it is. Okay, King of Clubs. I haven't seen this card in a while. And I love that we got two animal cards. All right, let's see what we get for the Creativity Oracle and where you are being invited to take a little bit deeper look. Let's see how you're going to raise your vibration. Originality. That's that Ace of Clubs. Holy. Okay. 
feel lighthearted and free while trusting that your unique way of doing things is the right way. Unique. Uranus, your sub-ruler, coming into that originality that you are here to embrace. And as a Libra, finding the balance and the cardinal energy, having that bounce off of everyone else out there to show you who you are, being validated for that, putting you right on your life path. It's beautiful. So lighthearted and free. Mm -hmm. That is that Uranus energy. So not only is this reading just really pinpointing exactly what you need to be doing for yourself. It is saying that you've got what you need. You just need to trust it. Mm, isn't that interesting? All of this letting go and moving on to that fast-paced Jack of Diamonds energy, that knowingness, so for you to be open to hearing your diamond, your spirit guide speak to you, that intuitive nudging that you know by now, you know. So there you are. All right. Let's see what you get for the spirit and nature cards of truth. Two of spades. Well, this is in your chart. This is in your Mercury position. So it's you figuring out exactly what you need to do. So for you, you know, that uh, two of spades, it's emperor energy, it's moon energy, it's stability. It is you figuring out you and how you do you in order to really have that 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 inner balance of alchemy for you. It is making that connection to how you really do it. Because for you, with having that two of spades there in the Mercury, it's talking about it. Club suit, intellectual pursuits. It's that air energy. So Mercury is really important. So look to see where your Mercury sits in those seven positions. And it takes you back to the two energy, right? Because it's a two. So that brings you into your moon energy, right? Emperor energy. Mm, king, emperor, you know, it's right there for you. And that four of hearts. Oh, we just talked about the four of hearts yesterday. It is such a beautiful, beautiful card. Stable, sacred space within, created. It is just a room or a place where you feel emotionally grounded and satisfied. It's such a good, good place for you to be in. It's comfortable right? It's stable. It fills you with joy. Hmm. So, two of spades, there you are. The thing about the moon and the two energy, this is you willingly moving toward that connection, embracing this opportunity, because that's what it is. It's an opportunity to connect with something that's going to make a difference for you physically and mentally to put you in a more stable, self-validating, that eight of diamonds on your path, place to be. Understanding that ego is throwing monkey wrenches into your, your existence out of left field and you've got to develop your well-being in order to take those and make your lemonade. You know, it's your alchemy, your alchemy of self to do this. All right, beautiful messages here. Let's see what you get for the wishcraft card. 
Happy magic for pets. Animals are my friends. I am kind and loving to them, which is exactly what you need to be for yourself as well. It's not an easy life to be a king of clubs. There's a lot of self-chatter going on in the head. There's a lot of justifying and that that catch-22 of wanting to <clears throat> be in the comfort of that, that uh, resistance to change when change is exactly what you are here to do. Whew. All right, well, there you go. Happy birthday, King of Clubs. Carpe diem, everyone. Let's stay kind and curious as we journey creatively.